Okay, we continue from the from the last slide on this point, which says that one of the advantages of not working at cell or advantage of non-proportional is able to increase capacity by using excess of loss. So we sure is expecting less balance on higher layers. So EML failure can be protected. Or in other words, the advantage here is e. Uh, Non-proportional is able to protect EML or estimated maximum loss failure or error. Okay, let me illustrate that. Okay, one of the, the functions of non-proportional is to protect estimated maximum loss error with less balance. I hope you, you understand what is EML at this stage. So for a particular risk, there is a low possibility they're going to be total loss for certain risks, okay? Because there could be many reasons why this risk might not result in total loss. Maybe because of uh, the security system, you know, uh, the fire extinguishing system, let's say in fire insurance, let's say for a car, uh, the safety of the car is very very high tech, so that might not result in total loss in case of accident. So let's say, let's say take for example a risk of a fire in a building, high rise building, with a good security protection. Let's say insurer has make a risk assessment on that building, and they have determined that the maximum acceptance of risk based on their estimated maximum loss for that building is 500,000, meaning that they are confident that in the event of fire, the highest amount of claim might reach only 500,000. It could, it could not be more than that. Okay, there are some reasons which, which guided the insurer. An insurer plan to retain the risk up to 200,000. Okay, they know that the maximum loss if happened is 500,000, but out of that 500,000, they only want to retain 200,000. Okay, I hope you can follow that. Okay, risk with a sum insured. Let's say the building has a sum insured of 1 million. The actual value of the building is 1 million, but the EML of that building is 500,000. Even though the sum insured is higher than that, but the highest possible of claim, the highest possible amount of claim in case of an accident, in case of a fire, might only just be 500,000. It might not hit 1 million. That is why EML is 500,000. So based on this EML of 500,000, insurer will arrange their excess of loss cover okay, based on 500,000. So the excess of loss cover will be 300,000 cover in excess of 200,000. This is the deductible. If you can notice that the deductible equal to insurer plan retention per risk, so the amount that they are willing to pay in the event of loss. They are willing to pay up to 200,000, so this will be their deductible. Anything above that, 200,000, will be transferred to the reinsurer. A reinsurer will protect up to 300,000. So the total cover will be, or the total of cover and deductible here will equal to the EML. Okay, let's say there is a claim, actual claim of 700,000. So 700,000 is actually more than the estimated EML. So they have committed what is called EML error because they estimated 500,000 but the actual claim is 700,000. So EML error equal to retained loss, which is the deductible of 200,000, Retain loss plus unplanned retention. So they retain up to 200,000, which is the deductible, and plus another 200,000, which is not protected by the reinsurer. Because remember, reinsurer only protect 
up to 300,000, where the actual claim is 700,000. So there is a shortage of 200,000, which is called unplanned retention. So 200,000 plus 200,000 is going to be 400,000. So there is a possibility of what we call EML error. So actually, insurer is able to protect or reinsurer is able to protect this EML error. How EML error can be protected is by having multiple layers, okay? Access of loss will help to protect EML error by having more than one layer. So let's say the first layer is actually the, actu the same layer here, which is 300,000 in excess of 200,000. And this is to protect the estimated EML. But by having just one layer, that will not guarantee the insurer in case if there is EML error or the claim, if there is a claim which is more than the estimated EML. So, so to protect that, that type of error, insurer will arrange another layer on top of that. The upper layer here, sorry, the lower layer here, this is called the second layer with a maximum cover of 500,000 in excess of 500,000. So if you notice that the total of both the cover and deductible here equal to what? Equal to the sum insured of 1 million. So when there is a claim like this, which is more than the estimated EML, that lebihan or that, that shortages which is not protected by the first layer will be covered by the second layer. So 500,000 minus 500,000, zero. So this is what we call less balance. So second layer, protect EML error with less balance. Less balance give benefit to the reinsurer. So reinsurer likes to have this type of balance, like zero, okay? 500,000 minus 500,000 is zero. So it's a win-win situation for the insurer and for the reinsurer. 